Hello reformers and welcome back to Viking Conquest. Now, when we last left off, we had just upgraded our refuge, or we'd seen that it had been updated, and we'd also purchased a ship. And with that ship, I've decided to come over to Dublin, as you can see here. And, well, what I've been doing is basically just running around Ireland, trying to get as much wool, trying to get as much iron as possible and also making a brief stopover in Tamer to purchase another business. And I believe the business in question is a weavery. And a weavery, what that will do is it will create wool cloth from wool. I'm not entirely sure how good that is going to be, because that will then in turn make it so that there are less wool sources in the area and then as a result it's going to make it difficult for me to get wool from this place but I don't know whether that's actually true think it does work like that sometimes yeah a little bit sketchy on that but it is going to give us about 700 maybe even 800 per week so I was thinking yeah that's probably that's probably what's going to give us the monies obviously I have now taken basically every single piece of wool away from Ireland, so it's <laughs> maybe not going to work out too well. You may be wondering as well why I have so much honey here. Well, buying honey and selling it at Winchester, which is to the sort of southwestish area of London, is going to give us a pretty decent profit. There's actually a bunch of honey here as well. But let's just assess the local prices real quick. There's also a tournament going on here, which I thought might be a nice idea. Ah, buying mead here and selling it at Dunwich might make some sense so let's do that let's buy a little bit of mead I don't actually don't oh wow I actually don't have enough space okay you know what I'm just gonna sell some of the honey and the vegetables and some fruit and things and I'm just gonna get the mead from there there you go all right so is there anything else I can sell here well there's a bunch of bread and maybe some wheat that I can get rid of the butter is also I mean obviously that's very much appreciated but it's not really necessary for us at the moment and how much money do I have oh, yeah I have 11,000 remaining now so maybe doing a competition could be quite advantageous so let's do that and see how we do obviously this is uh, I'm not I'm not particularly good at the tournaments in this mod so yeah let's be a little bit cautious here shall we uh, 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 okay apparently I'm extremely bad at them in this mod oh there we go there we go that's a little bit better Okay, come on. Yes. Yes, use our reach. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was Kayo. <laughs> oh, you're not a very good fighter, Kayo. Hmm, it seems like we're going to have to uh, probably get his fighting skills up a little bit. Seems he's not very good. Anyway, where is my where's my where's my teammate? Oh, my teammate's running over there for some reason. Oh, I, I guess that's where the rest of our team has run off to. And it seems like the blue and the reds are having a fun time. The Reds have absolutely massacred everyone in the area, so I guess that's good for them. And uh, let's see if I can do a little bit of extra damage here and there, and maybe... Oh, yeah, it's not going to work out too well, I feel. Probably. No, not going to work out too well at all. Especially considering there's two of them. Never usually very good when it comes to two versus one situations. Anyway, four teams with three fighters each should be okay. Again, we do have a spear... Yeah, I'm not a very big fan of the spear. I mean, yeah, okay, you know, the spear is actually pretty decent in this mod, and I'm, I'm pretty happy to use it, to be honest. But there are so many better weapons, and I would love to have a, an axe, for example. I think an axe would probably make more sense, but at least we're able to get a couple of kills. If we're able to get about two or three kills in every round, then we have a much greater chance of victory, you know, because we will then progress to the next rounds and so on and so forth. Wow, really? Come on now. Apparently I'm not getting any killing blows whatsoever. Oh well, never mind. Ah, yes, there we are. That's what I'm talking about. An axe. A short axe, but still an axe. So let's see if I can... Could you just... Oh, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. That particular person was deciding to stand in front of me and uh, preventing me from actually dealing some... Uh, good damage to the opponent. Well, let's see what I can do here. Yeah, no, yes. Okay, there we go. And maybe I can... Maybe I can sort of... Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, I was hopeful that I might be able to destroy their shield, but no. Whoa, that was... What? There's no way a spear could do that, no? 
That's that's that seems a bit that seems a bit fishy to me. Oh well, never mind. Ah, yes, I knew it. I knew it. His his proficiency was just really good. If only I had kill. Oh no, never mind. Apparently we we're, we're getting through there. Okay, so this is a free for all, and I've been given the dreaded javelins. Yes, the dreaded javelins. Okay, so let's see what the red team are going to do. They seem to be running over to the yellows, which is good for me because that means I will be able to use. Yes. I will Oh. Okay. Apparently javelins are really good. Seems I I may have on my own character on Borga, I may have some pretty terrible javelins instead of the ones that you can actually use in the tournament. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So, yeah, I just have a spear here. And I'm against someone with a sword. Well, that's not going to work. That is not going to work at all, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, no. No, may maybe? No? Nope, certainly not. Never. Never in a million years. He's just got too much proficiency, and I don't, because obviously it's a spear. And, yeah, that's, okay, that, so that didn't really work out too well. But, we are right next to the port, so we can just travel onward. And we might be able to go to... Well, we could go to Cardiff, I guess. But what I want to do is try and find a couple of... Oh, no, I do not want to fight those guys. Or do I? There's only 25 Vikings. I do have some pretty decent forces. But they probably have two boats, don't they? Okay, let's do it. This is going to be a bit... Uh, it's going to be a bit close. It's going to be a bit close. Okay, so yeah, they have two boats, which is not very good. What I'm going to try and do... Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Are, this, are the sailors on the right or on the left? I guess I'm just going to go over there and see what I can do. But we're going to try for the most part to get on the side that isn't in between them. And uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully as a result of that, we'll only have to fight one group of them at once, which would be obviously pretty advantageous. So let's see if that can actually work. Come on, throw your spears, men. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm doing some damage. I'm doing a little bit of damage here and there. Okay, so this is good. This is very good. Ships charge. Oh, no, no, Borgar. Don't don't tell the ships to charge. That, that, that doesn't really work out. Yes. Thankfully, it seems like I've chosen the correct ship to attack first because yeah it seems like most of them are sailors here and that is fantastic because that means we can just kill all the fodder and it makes it much easier for us to then concentrate on the units that can actually deal damage to us and that's what we want to do so let's see if I can get through here and actually deal some damage yeah there we go there we go nice okay so maybe I can do a little bit yeah there we go nice good two-handed slashes right there to the heads of our opponents and that was it very nice indeed okay pretty happy with that and we have some looting skill now so maybe it will give us an upgraded chance of actually getting the ships maybe yeah I think didn't someone mention that uh, maybe I'm getting mixed up anyway we do have a bunch of our companions that have leveled up so that's pretty nice I don't exactly know whether I should be taking these things I guess I should give this helm to someone. I actually don't know who to give it to at the moment, but I'm going to give it to someone. And yeah, my javelins are actually okay. They do 16 damage instead of these throwing spears doing 27. So I guess I'm just going to switch to the throwing spears. Maybe that's going to make a bit of a difference to us. And do we get any? No, apparently we don't. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, by the way, Beta does now include is now included in our party because he went off a long time ago and then he just returned very very recently okay so he has engineering and yes leadership apparently does also now make sense to the actual party max so that's pretty cool anyway let's level up his power strike get him doing a little bit more damage here and there and Kayo has also advanced in level. Well, we did say that we were going to advance his combat skills, but what else is he actually doing? Doesn't seem like much, to be honest. Okay, let's go for... not that. Let's go for Power Throw and Power Strike. Sounds good to me. And we'll go for a little bit more in one-handed and throwing, and that seems good. Okay, so Asbjorn. Alright, okay, what do we want to do with him? Well, he has all medicinal skills, absolutely fine, and riding skills, okay. Yeah, I guess just Power Strike and Iron Flesh will be fine for him, and just improve random things. 
And there we go. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We have. What do we have here? Oh, Beta actually has four in looting. Oh. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. Considering, didn't I just spec into looting myself? Yeah. Did I? No, I, I don't think so. I think I specced one of our companions into looting. But anyway, there you go. So that was that was pretty nice. Ooh, what do we have here? We have some Vikings that have thirty-five prisoners for us to rescue. That would be pretty nice. I'm actually just going to take a look real quick. Looting. No, that doesn't seem to make a difference to that, but maybe there's something else. At the learning limit. Okay, well, that's at the learning limit. That's unfortunate. Is there anything else here? Not really. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we can just tackle these guys. We're moving so fast, by the way, thanks to our navigation skill, I guess. And it is at night. Okay, so... Oh, they have two ships? Oh, okay, that's weird. They only had 11. Okay. Well, let's do a very similar thing to what we were doing beforehand, and that is to get on the one side of the one ship, and then we'll try and eliminate every single person from that one, and then we'll go over to the next one and uh, kill those people too. Yes, we're being very civilized, as you can no doubt tell. Okay, so there we go. That's that's good. That's good. And there we are. All right, let's do this. Okay, I may have may have jumped the boat a little bit. <laughs> uh, jumped the gun. There we are. Yes, there's no guns, but still. I may have jumped the gun a little. Maybe? No, no, no. It seems like we're fine. Wow, we actually eliminated a lot of them. And very, very quickly indeed. Much quicker than the other ship even came to us. That's that pretty impressive. Okay, come on now. If we could just eliminate these guys relatively quickly, then maybe I will be able to capture one of their ships. I would very much appreciate that, because if we're able to do it, then that would then mean that we will have a much greater capacity for units as well. Aha! Add the ship to your fleet! Well, that sounds fantastic. So, uh, it is a... Uh, it is a bearding or whatever that is. Okay, I'm just going to add the ship to my fleet. That enables us to have a maximum party size of 46 instead of 39. So that is not very good, gotta say. That is not very good, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll just take that because it's better than nothing. Ooh, we have so many spearmen here. Okay, I'm gonna have to take those instead of anything else. I'd like to take these, but these are Norse, obviously. They're pagans. I can't really do that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, is there anything else? There's a, a bunch of slave drivers and slave hunters and veteran slave hunters. They would be pretty good to take. But I currently want to get spearmen so that they can level up into veterans. And that seems like a pretty good plan to me. So I'm just going to do that instead. And there you go. At least we were able to get a ship this time around. So that's quite nice. Anyway, let's take a look at the helms that our forces have. They have pretty decent helms, actually. So it seems like they are not going to require anything. I mean, look at that. It's basically the same. And what about Helgi? What are you wearing? Oh, he's wearing a worse helm, but it's only giving him a plus two upgrade. It's absolutely worthless in my opinion. Okay. Anything else? 45? Wow, he's wearing a really good helm. And what do we have here? Ah, oh, 39 as well. So uh, it is frankly pointless, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, they could definitely use some better body armor, that's for sure. I mean, look at what he's wearing right now. I mean, my my armor is actually really good, so I'm kind of surprised that we have had such terrible luck with Odin's cave. But I guess we're just going to head back there when I have a little bit more weapon proficiency, I suppose. That might make a difference. Ah, by now you have more than one ship. In a sea battle, you can give a stand, ground, or charge command to your ships by giving it to class number 9, like you give commands to a troop class in a field battle. The first troops in your army list will be together with you on the flagship. The other troops will be in the following ships. You can change your flagship in a port and while camping on the sea. If you are next to a coast, you can also split your, your fleet while camping on the sea or search for the closest landing point with a right click. Okay, well, yeah, we don't really... Don't really need to know anything about that. Ah, there we go. So now that is, that's what we're getting right here. I'm not entirely sure how effective the wool weavery is going to be at Tamir. So 
If it turns out to be awful, then I'll just head back there and dismantle it, and then I'll build something else in the future whenever I can, whenever I have the money. I mean, I'm actually going to have the money the next round of wool trading that I'm able to do, so yeah, I don't think it's going to be too long for that. And we are going to lose a little bit of morale on the ocean. Let me tell you, going all the way from Dunwich to Dublin on the on, on our ship, that was that was pretty harsh because we lost a huge amount of morale from that. But it's okay. It's absolutely fine. We didn't lose any units from it, so I suppose that's good. Anyway, let's see if I can go into the port. Yes, thank you very much. I was a bit worried there for a second. Okay, so any ransom brokers? Uh, no. Okay. Unfortunate. I don't want to travel to another port, thank you very much. Yeah, it's so weird because whenever I see trade and travel next to each other, I think to myself, oh, I have to trade there. Yes, that doesn't really work. Okay, so let's take some of these pieces of wool here. And I think that is it. I literally have the most full-up inventory you could ever have, I suppose. Uh, okay, I'm going to need to sell some of this wheat, I think. There we go. There's nothing else here that I can really do, so I guess I'm just going to have to sail from the port away once again. Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There might be a ship here that we can purchase. Aha. No, that, no, never mind. That is ours. <laughs> uh, yes, that is ours. Ooh, this, this would be fantastic. I could get another one of these. It's not very good. I could get one of these. It's not very good. Yes. I, I guess I'm going to get this because it's in good condition. And it's okay. You know, it's not the best, but it's okay. And now we have a fleet capacity of 57. So I suppose that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we can now change the finish on this as well. Only ships made of oak are considered to deserve a special finish. Ah, oh, thanks very much. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm going to change the sail. Let's change the sail to blue and yellow. Thank you. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at our other ships here. That's our flagship. There we go. Okay, so this requires repairs of 3,500. I don't actually have that. So I guess what I'm going to do is just sell it. And uh, we still have a pretty good fleet capacity. I just want to keep my fleet pretty small for the most part, with the exception of upgrading our ships. So I don't really want to have, like, I don't know, 10 different ships running around. I think that would probably be a bit messy in battles. But thankfully, we now have a little bit of a better better ship there. And it's in much better condition. So hopefully it's not going <laughs> to... Hopefully it's not going to sink, you know. Anyway, I'm going to make my way all the way around to uh, Dunwich. And we're going to sell a little bit of our mead. Ah, and as soon as I arrive in Dunwich, it seems like the severe weather has damaged one of our ships. Isn't that awful? Yes, that's absolutely terrible. So let's take a look and... Oh, it's only, it's only damaged by a very small amount. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, so they basically move at around similar speeds. Yeah, not really similar speeds, right? Okay, so is there anything else that I can perhaps buy here? No, it's just this one. Okay, so let's go and sell our mead. I have quite a but, oh, quite a bit of it, actually. And let's see if I can make a good profit on that. Actually, wow. there's Really? They don't have that much money, do they? No, they don't. That's not very good. Going to be unable to very easily sell, at least. Going to have to go to all kinds of different merchants. There we are. All right. So is there any better armor that I can get here? No, it doesn't look like it. Look at that. It's barely better than what our companions are currently using. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, so we could sail from the port again, but... Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I do need to check for a ransom broker, don't I? That would make sense. Can I please go in there? Thank you very much. It seems like there's, it's a bit buggy sometimes. A bit weird. All right. So, it doesn't seem to be any ransom broker. Ah, oh, that is... Wow, that is very frustrating, isn't it? Okay, well, it seems like that will be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to continue doing some naval combat and continue getting our renown up and, uh, and hopefully leveling up a bunch of our units. It seems like our spearmen take a long time to level, so maybe I'm going to have to fight even more. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.